Hi, welcome to UR Home Live. Today we're touring the Maple Hill area, I would say. And so yeah, uh, my name's Olivia. I'll be giving your tour today. And my name is McKenna Parsons. I'm an intern for housing, and I will be filming today's live. So let us know where you're, let us know where you're tuning in from. If you have any questions along the way, send them in the chat. The screen's kind of frozen, and it says we have full bars, that's why I'm not quite sure. Okay. Okay. I can definitely try. Awesome. Okay, I think we're back. Could you briefly give us a little bit about what's in this area oh, once yeah. again? Sure. Um, so this is going to be a little courtyard area. This is going to be mainly used for like Maple South programming and programming that's for all three of the Maples as it's in close proximity to all three buildings. And you're going to also have access to both pots and reed, which are neighboring buildings of the Maples. So walking awesome. more this way, we're going to come up on Maple East and West. These buildings are very similar, and they will be sharing a front desk. If you're in Maple South, you got your own little sh shindig going on over there. But we're walking up here. You're going to see this is where you're going to get all your mail, packages, everything for both East and West. They do share desks. And sorry about those technical issues. I think, let us know if we've still got them, but I think we've worked through them. Yes. Yeah? Seems and nice. once again, let us know where you're tuning in from <laughs> and if you have any questions. Awesome. This is one of my favorite areas. Um, this is the courtyard for Maple East and West. Um, it's looking really pretty right now. They just did a lot of work on it. Lots of areas to sit, hang out, chill. There's a lot of, like, chairs and everything over here. So there's more than enough room to, like, just hang out with all your friends, get some sun, or at night if you want to like just chill out in the dark. Honestly, yeah, uh, they've done a lot of like s'mores programs out here. It's been really fun. Uh, this over here is going to be Maple West, and then right behind you is going to be Maple East. The uh, way it looks, they do look connected. They are not. They are separate buildings. I see people from Hot Springs, from Little Rock, from Benton. Ooh, our Welcome, cousins, like myself. <laughs> oh yeah, awesome. Um, we want to get headed back this way. We're going to be touring Maple South today. Mm -hmm. again. These two share a front desk. That's where you're going to be getting your mail, packages, keys. That's where you're going to check in. All, all the fun stuff. I see Laura from Edmond, Oklahoma. I'm from Oklahoma. That's awesome. Uh, Someone from Kansas. From? No, I'm from Tulsa. Okay. Um, Edmond's kind of halfway between the Panhandle and Tulsa. Okay. A couple hours away, I think, nice. roughly. Oklahoma geography. <laughs> Once again, this is kind of the common area between the buildings. Yes. Yeah. Um, so this over here, this is part of Maple South that has classrooms, and Maple Grill is actually connected to these. They do have classes in these sometimes. Maple East also has a couple of classrooms, but these have bigger classrooms. You can see right here, this whole window is a whole classroom. And there's also a classroom in here that's like a lecture hall style. Um, they do have movie nights in there sometimes. They're really fun. If you attended freshman orientation and stayed here, you can probably watch the movie in there. So, when you get here, you have these little things called bobs. That's how you're going to get into the building. They're like little circles. Just hit it. And, and in we go. go. Thank you. And we will be touring an H layout. I know a couple people have asked about that since it's not on the website. Um, that will be once we head upstairs, so. Well, who are you? Hello. <laughs> Hello. We're the Maple CRE. Uh, so my name is Jackie. I am the CRE for Maple East, and you're probably wondering what a CRE is. 
Uh, it means coordinator for residence education. And basically what that means for you is that if at any point while you're living here on campus with us, you are struggling with something, even if it seems like it's not directly uh, related to being a student on our campus, if you are struggling, come to us, let us know what you're struggling with. Um, we're trained for a really long time in all of our campus resources, um, so getting you connected with the Multicultural Center, getting you connected with uh, counseling and psychological services, or any other resources on campus. Um, even if you're struggling to like make friends and make connections, like we can make some really good suggestions for RSOs to get involved in. So yeah. My name is Kaylee Ann. Um, I'm the Maple South Theory. This is actually my third year in the Maples, and so I love it here. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, some of the fun things that we have coming up is we have series. We'll plan some programs for y'all during the first six weeks. Um, so if you haven't made a Hogsink account, you're definitely going to need one of those. Um, but you can see our programs and stuff in our Maple Hill Hogsink, so just be sure to pay attention to that. Also, we have a lot of fun stuff happening during A week, um, and then on August 20th, it's my birthday, if you need to remember, um, but it's also <laughs> the first day of, or the day of our first floor meetings and the freshman pep rally, so be sure to write that date down, because um, we will see y'all there. Awesome. Yeah, and my name is Colton Rudder, I'm the CRE at Maple West, I use E-Series pronouns, um, and another big piece of what our job is, is doing student accountability. So if there's issues in the halls, whether that be someone's vaping, set off a fire alarm, uh, whether <laughs> Whether we have restricted items like LED strip lights and things like that, we'll be able to have those conversations with our students, kind of talk about like why we can't have that kind of thing, and you know, kind of go through the learning processes with them. So that's a big part of our job as well. If you haven't already, check out the housing website. There's a list of things you can't bring. Um, Removable wallpaper is a new one. Yes. Yeah. Don't, don't <laughs> plaster the walls in the wall. Absolutely it, terrible. It, I promise it costs a lot to fix. <laughs> it's real cute though, but yeah. it's not worth it. That and the LED <laughs> lights, the LED lights also a no go. But check it out, it's on the housing website and it'll help you a lot. Awesome. Do we have any questions coming in? Um, someone asked what building we were in. I saw someone else answer it. We are in Maple South and this is the building we'll be touring today. Um, yeah. All the, I don't know if y'all have said this, but all the maples are very similar. Yes. Um, you're going to look at rooms, they look pretty much the same. Um, but like lobby setups are pretty similar. So. Awesome. Well, thank you guys. Yeah, thank you. We're about to go up on the fourth floor, right? Yes. All right. Let's head that way. Um, we'll go ahead and talk about the desk while we're here. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Yeah, so this is going to be your front desk. Um, this is where you're going to pick up packages. Um, your mail is actually going to be in a separate area if it's paper mail, but this is going to be your. Uh, area to pick up packages, where you're going to get your keys. If you get a lockout, you'll come down here. Um, usually during the day, we'll have a desk admin working here, but after hours, there will be an RA working this desk. So if you ever want to come down and say hi to your favorite RA, they'll probably be working this desk if you're living here. So awesome. Yeah. Um, this is also where you're going to mm -hmm. check out like ping pong paddles, movies, cooking equipment. They have all of that for you. Um, you just have to check it out with your student ID. And speaking of equipment. We'll head into this area right here. Uh, this is going to be one of the common areas. Uh, this is the main one for Maple South. You'll come in here. There's lots of seating. Uh, the pool table is newer from I think this previous year. Just lots of community areas. Um, there's also a fireplace over here. Um, you can look at it. It does work in winter. Yes. Winter time. They're so. very nice. And again, if you've attended freshman orientation, you have probably stayed in this building and you have probably <laughs> hung out in this room. <laughs> yes, yeah. I know that was my experience. Yeah. Um, I'll show you all the mail and we'll get headed up to the fourth floor. Someone asked if they can check out carts for move-in. Yes. Um, I believe this building, the Maples, do have the big gray carts and dollies and mallets. Anything you need for move-in? Just make sure you have your ID or something you can leave with us if you borrow them, if yes. you borrow it. All right. And then over here, this is where you're going to get your letter mail. Um, they are combination locks, and that combination will be in your housing portal. Perfect. So if you haven't checked out the housing portal, I don't know how you're living on campus. <laughs> um, my, de my details specifically. The yes. My details area. That's going to have your uh, mailbox combo, room numbers, roommates, meal plan, everything you need to know about living on campus. Um, do you have the uh, measuring thing? I do. Okay, good. Um, we'll get it up to the fourth floor now. And we will be looking at a G room, a K room, and an H room today. Those are the rooms. Um, 
Hold tight in case we lose connection while we go up the elevator. Because not on Wi-Fi, it might glitch just a little bit. All right, well, I'll talk if there's connection. Um, yeah. In the elevators, you do have to scan your fob in Maple South. It's just an extra layer of security. Um, I really like it and enjoy it. Yeah, they'll just, um, they'll let you up to your phone. Did you tell us where you're from? I did not. I am from Greenwood, Arkansas. Go Bulldogs. <laughs> um, graduated in 2020. I'm going to be a senior this Ooh. year, majoring in information systems and graphic design. Wow. So. Technology and art yes. together at last. I love it. I do a lot of data visualization work. Oh. Someone asked, is the laundry area in the dorm building or separate? Yes, so it actually is going to be on the floor. Each side of the floor is going to have their own laundry room, and we will go toward one of those laundry rooms on the way to the rooms we're going to be tomorrow. Perfect. Um, Once again, we're on the fourth floor in Maple South, about to show a common space here. Yeah. So the common spaces in the Maples are super, super nice. Um, awesome places to hang out, play games with your friends. This is going to be the main one for the fourth floor. Both sides share it. There's lots of seating. There's a TV in here. Um, the coolest part is each floor does have both a microwave and a, like a microwave toaster oven. Um, so there is an oven with a stove top on the first floor, but if you just need to like bake pizza rolls or cookies, you can always come in here and use the toaster oven. Someone asked about ice machines. Yes, so that's actually going to be on the first floor laundry room. A lot of your, like, Ice machine and kitchen are all gonna be on the first floor. That's gonna be standard for a lot of the buildings here, but some buildings are different, so you will have to check with each building. But for all three of the Maples, the ice machine will be on the first floor. Uh, Maple East, it'll be by the desk, actually. Awesome. And another person asked, are the bathrooms in the rooms or down the hall? <laughs> um, the, all the Maples are suite style, so that means no community bathrooms. You yes. don't have to share a bathroom with anyone but your roommates. Woo. One of the parts. <laughs> I think Olivia, your second grade teacher, is on here. Who? Your second grade teacher. What, what's the name? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe Leah. Her daughter's name is Maggie, and oh she lived in Maple <laughs> West. If yeah. that helps. I do know. Awesome. It is quite. So we'll look at a study space first. Is that right? Yes. And are we going towards the rooms that we're looking at? Yes. So yes. We do cross this big old window. Beautiful view. Windows. Very nice windows. Yeah. Um, we'll get headed to one of these study rooms. Miss Leonard. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the clarification. <laughs> but yeah, um, each side of the hall, like the floor is split in half. Each side has about 50 people and each side has two separate study areas. Another this is going to be space. one of the study areas. This is more of like a lounge area. Um, more chill hangout spot. And a lot of these will have a whiteboard in them. So if you bring your own markers and you want to do some equations, go for it. But these, this is going to be one of the study areas that's more like a chill, like chill space, more studying, hanging out kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. The other one will probably be more for like working. I've taken a lot of exams in these rooms, so great for that. Just make sure you put a sign up. Don't come in here. <laughs> Someone asked about water fill filling stations, excuse me, um, and if they're on all floors or various floors, what that looks like. So uh, with the Maples, each floor, I believe, has water fountains, but the first floor will have a water bottle filling station. Mm -hmm. So when you're just headed out the door, you can go down, get mm -hmm. that. Uh, I would suggest a Brita. I have one. Love it. Yes. Yeah. They are pretty great. We yes. got one recently too. And then a water bottle, obviously. And insulated are pretty mm -hmm. powerful. You don't have to get like the, the top brand in them. They're insulated yeah. or good. You know, I I have a Stanley Cup dupe from Walmart and I love that thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do we want to check out the laundry rooms first? Uh, yeah, sure. We'll yeah. So these are going to be the laundry rooms. Each side of the floor will have one. Each so side of the floor. That's a good yes. specification. So there will be two laundry rooms per floor. Um, and there will be two washers and two dryers in each one. So again, you're sharing these with about 50 people. Uh, this year we are changing um, over to speed feed. And you will have like a limited number of washes and dries per week. Two. Yes, two wash and dry cycles per week. And you will need to download the speed cleanup. Um, there's like, there's a poster behind you if you want to show it. Sure. Yeah. 
Yes, these are. this will be here when you move in if you need specific details about downloading the app. Um, you will already have an account created for you. You just use your UARC information. Um, and worst comes to worst, you can reset your password if you have any issues. But after those two washes a week, it is then $150. Um, and you yeah. can add your own money. Um, I believe it uses Apple Pay as one of the options. So that's oh. a really convenient thing for a lot of people. But yeah. Um, these usually take like an hour per wash, an hour per dry, so. Awesome. And um, they do recommend using laundry pods instead of liquid detergent or powder detergent. Yes. And you cannot have dryer sheets. That is one thing I learned when I got here freshman year. I went to Walmart and I bought myself a pack of dryer sheets and then I got to the laundry room and there's a big old sign right there that says no dryer sheets. No dryer sheets. <laughs> and pods are recommended, but any type of laundry soap can be yes. used. As someone who's used both in the dorm, I recommend the pods just carrying um, the like liquid detergent back and forth was not very fun for me mm -hmm. personally. I have <laughs> lived in four separate dorms over my time living here, so. Broad experience. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be our very specific age type room, I believe. Mm -hmm. is that, yes. yes. Perfect. Uh, 447. Yeah. And so we'll just get going in here. Uh, someone requested this type of layout specifically. Which this is an unusual layout. This is not yes. very typical. Yes. It's very long. There's not a lot of like community space like right here, but there's a lot of like long area space. Lots of room for wall decor. Um, not much like seating area. But yeah. Um, we have a quick question about laundry from actually from U of A Health. Um, they said, can they use dryer balls? Um, you could use them, sure, sure. We don't, I don't think we have anything against using dryer balls. Uh, when it comes to the laundry detergent itself, we do recommend pods just because those are cleaner, easier to use, and that sort of thing. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, um, the biggest difference on this room than the other rooms is going to be the community space here. As you can see, it's not terribly big. Mm, pretty You'll small. You'll also notice these boxes. Um, these are, these were cable, but You'll see these in your rooms, so they're working on getting rid of them, but if you do get here, um, they don't really work, so that, just a heads up. But you are welcome to bring TVs and everything. But yeah. Um, and someone asked if we can see an A suite. Um, those we will not be touring. However, you can go to housing.york.edu, go under your hall, um, which obviously would be Maples here, your specific Maples building. And then there's actually 3D tours that you can watch and pause and measure things in there under your hall. So yes, H is not on there. That is why we are currently in, a, in an H room, but the A style should be there. Yeah, so these rooms are set up a little differently than your normal room. The desks are gonna be kind of like off. Um, there's two rooms in this suite. They look exactly the same, but each one again will have the two beds, two desks, the two dresser sets, two shelves, two wardrobes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so look inside. Typical furniture. Yeah. Um, and each wardrobe will also include a dresser itself. Oh, I didn't and know that. There's a little up right here underneath. Beautiful. Um, someone asked if students are responsible for cleaning the bathrooms. Yes. Yes. Um, uh, maintenance or the ISAs will not um, come in and clean the bathrooms for you. Um, I've done checkouts of the Maples. They have been interesting, so please clean your bathrooms for the sake of the RAs when you leave. <laughs> yeah. Someone's asking specifically about room for a futon in the common space out there. Yes. If we want to measure that wall, that might be good. Yes, in this room specifically, or just like in I think the general. common space? Yes. yes. So they were curious about. Yeah. Um, we can do that. This room type, which again, what, which room type is this again? H. H. This is an H. I think we've got all of them, like Kenna said, we've got all of them on the uh, Maples web page. So if, could you possibly open the door yeah, and hold sure. it open? So this wall specifically? Yeah, from like where the door opens all the way against the wall. Uh, you open the door? Yeah, so we can see the space between the door and the wall over uh, here. I Because I think that's the only place a futon type thing would fit. So that's going to be 66 inches. 66 from inches. The edge of this door to this wall. It'd have to be a pretty small futon, but yes, yeah, 66 inches. Yes. And there's this wall here, but that wouldn't be for a no. futon. Maybe a love seat could fit there. Perhaps. A chair, a counter, yeah. Yeah. maybe a coffee station. If you're coffee people, are you coffee people? Do you yeah, like coffee? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit? Yeah, this room isn't, isn't super ideal for like a futon or anything, but there is a lot of like hallway room especially down here like by the bathrooms and everything. Mm -hmm. um, the 
like loss of community space does make up an extra bedroom space though. These bedrooms are, I believe, slightly bigger than like the normal bedrooms we're gonna get. So you do have that trade-off. You do get a little extra bedroom space. Someone asked, let me find your question once again. Um, if there are any drawers that can lock with like a padlock in their yes, rooms. there are. We can show that real quick and then move on to our next room, which will be a K, um, K style room. Which is a lofted room. Yes, that is a lofted room. Yeah, so um, the desk drawers, these top drawers right here, um, there's gonna be this little latch right here that you can use a padlock on and they won't open. Perfect, can we get a little bit of a yeah. closer look here? That is what that looks like, beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah, padlock works perfectly here. And yes, the desk in Maples do have this tall back with the counter built into them. Uh, yeah, the cork board. The cork back. board back, yes. It's not plugged in. They do have built-in lights on the desks mm -hmm. as well. So if you don't want to bring a lamp, they do have built-in lights. Like, oh, really? Right here. Yes. Wonderful, there is built-in lighting. Someone asked about the measurement of this window yeah. behind you. So width? It's gonna be 38 inches across right here. Okay. It is going to the ceiling, just so you know. Oh, there we are. To the bottom of where the shade is, mm -hmm. this and is gonna, gonna be? 59 inches tall. 59 inches tall. That shade is probably yeah. two to three inches. Yep. And then could we also maybe just real quick get this little countertop depth? Okay. It does go from, yeah. Oh, that's gonna be hard to do. Looks like four inches. <laughs> yeah, I'd say. It is six inches. Six inches. Six inches. Yeah. That's deeper than I thought. Okay. No, I was like, oh. um, and then one last question while we are in here. Someone asked about the distance from the edge of one bed to the other one. So in this room, it is going to be 83 inches. 83 inches and this again we are in an h room this is going to be different in other rooms and the, miniature, the furniture is all movable as well it is all movable furniture um and the beds are loftable yes um you will have to loft them yourselves unless you put in a maintenance request early um i do not know what that deadline is it is um, august 1st you have to get it in this month if you want it to be done by the yes. time you're moving in Someone asked, do the bathrooms come with a curtain slash shower rod? Yes, they do. Um, each bathroom comes with a shower liner. Mm -hmm. So if you do want to bring a decorative curtain, you are more than welcome to. Uh, they do come with shower rings on them. So each one has this liner with the rings on them with the rod. Yeah. Awesome. The lofting here is from as low as three inches to 71. Mm -hmm. Every three inches from three inches to 71 inches. So awesome. you have incredible flexibility. Mm -hmm. How high is the ceiling in H if we could just get maybe a floor to ceiling right here in the common space? It's going to be 96 inches. 96 inches. And I do not believe the desk shelf is removable. It is not. It is do not. not it. <laughs> do not attempt to remove that. Um, awesome. Yeah. Uh, this is what the H counter space is going to look like. Some of them are going to be a little different, a little wider, a little shorter, but this is what this one looks like specifically. And one more question about the shower. Someone wants to know the length of this rod here. It is smaller than some, so. It's going to be 25 inches. Awesome. And I do believe those are removable. Someone asked in their rooms, which is A and B? All right, so this is gonna be the A room. Um, I'm not, they're not very specific on which side of the room is A and which one's B. Oh, okay. All right, so this is room A, room B, clearly marked. When it comes to inside, like the bed level, um, really it's whatever the residents determine. Oh, um, okay. Could be, this could be a, a, bed A and that could be bed B or the opposite, depending on how you determine So I have a personal question about yeah. that. Is that the case for all of them or just in Maples? Because I know for me, when I lived in Holcomb, there was two letters and mm -hmm. usually, from my experience, B was the window side. So yeah. I, it, does that vary depending on the hall? So tradition would say it's the closest to the window side. Okay. But it's not, it doesn't have to be that way. 
what we're trying to do is assign a side of the room to a specific resident. Okay. And if they opt to go the opposite direction, we that's can, up to them. We can we can accommodate that. Awesome. Yeah. The most important part is just making sure if you are assigned to like the A room, you are in the A room, mm -hmm. and if you're in the B room, you're in the B room because your keys will unlock the A room. Right. You will get two keys. One will unlock the main door, and one will lock your like bedroom. Awesome. This is only for rooms with like two separate bedrooms. The ones with just one bedroom, you'll only get one key. And one more question about the desk, including the the hutch or thing on top of the desk. How high is this from the floor? That full, full height there. That is going to be 57 inches. 57 inches. Awesome. And then the distance from the top of the wardrobe to the ceiling. Can you reach up there to click that? Oh, it's going to be 28 inches. 28 inches. Awesome. Yes. Uh, All right. Should we check out the lofts? Yes. I would highly recommend using the top of the wardrobe as storage space. That's why I have learned. Um, let's put stuff on top of my wardrobe. <laughs> it's a lot of extra room, especially for like storage tubs, things you're not going to access a lot of the time. Someone said, so room 448 BA would be room B bed A. Yes, that, that is correct. Awesome. What's the next room we're going to? We are going to 439K. Okay. So we're looking at those uh, lofted. lofted rooms with the upstairs space. And really, it's going to be so similar on the resident living level. The loft is really what we want to point out. Yeah, so we, the rooms are, like you said, very similar. Um, we are just going to go ahead and dip upstairs and see what that looks like. Yes. This is also known as a super premium. Yes. Super premium. <laughs> they built a lot of rooms with these lofted they go pretty quick. People really like these spaces. And again, that trade-off is there. You're going to lose a lot of bedroom space, but you're going to get this extra community space up here. It does come with some furniture. It is not removable. We will not take it out of the room for you. It, it has, has to stay. stay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, these are really popular. Um, the view on this one is actually really good. Let's see what it looks like. You get a view of the stadium. Oh, yeah. And once again, for people asking about different room types, such as A, you can go to housing.uark.edu and under your hall specifically and view those rooms. We will not be touring an A today. Someone asked, is the chair a recliner up here in the loft? It is not. They're just normal standard chairs. Same with the couch. Same with the couch. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Do we need any measurements up here? Um, someone asked if they could ask for a desk without a shelf on it. We do not have those here. Um, all the desks do come with the shelf. Yes. Yeah. They are bolted into the desk. <laughs> <laughs> no. We will not be room uh, touring a room type E again. You can go to the website and then under your hall to see that specifically. Mm -hmm. Someone asked for the dimensions of the couch and the chair. So. Yeah. Um, can I help on this side? Yeah. yeah that's Provide a, a hand. Eighty-five inches. And then it's gonna be thirty-three inches tall. Awesome. And then this chair. Um, someone asked where the coffee table and TV stand is. We are currently upstairs in a loft, um, but we will head downstairs after yeah. that. Um, some of the lofts do come with a coffee table. Um, I do not know why there's not one in here, but um, some Could of the Could be a single place. Okay, okay, that's good to know. But, yeah, um, you can, like, put one Yeah, sure, of course. I just wonder if we had some of these dimensions on our sheet sheet here. Right, this is going to be 35 inches. 35 inches. Across. And, yes, these dimensions are likely on the website as well. So we'll probably head back down after this. Yeah, 33 inches tall. So, so generally, do you know what furniture is included in the loft. So I know right here we only have two chairs and a couch. Um, I, I believe there's often a coffee table up here. Okay. This one just doesn't happen to not have one, but that means maybe the coffee table is damaged, it should be replaced. Yes. Um, I do think that's typical though, right? Yes. Yeah. Most of the lofts I've been in do include a coffee table, so. And that's a good point, is if you come into the space and it's missing something, you'll have two opportunities. Uh, one is what's called the RIF, the Room Inventory Form. 
which is you saying, hey, I've looked at the room too, it looks okay, or here are the issues that I'm spotting. And so take advantage of your riff when you first move in. And then secondly, if something happens during the course of the year, uh, go to house, go, just Google UARC and fix it. Yes. And that'll lead you to a form that you can go to and you can say, hey, housing, we're having this issue with our lights. Let us know, we wanna come in and fix. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, and that's all free of charge to the students as long as you record it. Now, if you wait till the end of the year, you move out, you don't record it, you will be charged. Yes. So do make sure you do report the, those damages um, as soon as possible, and we'll fix them. And we're not particularly strict. We understand there's normal wear and tear that happens, and we're not you know, trying yes. to stick you with the charge. So <laughs> as long as it's not you like punching the wall or something like that, we're probably going to just fix it for you. Yes, so for someone asked where do we do a maintenance request, that is just search fix it UARC and a form will show up yeah. um, and you can do that there. Someone asked about if they were to bring a rug into this space, if we could maybe just get the measurements from one wall to the other and then across. I guess we could go wall to wall is pretty long, but we can give you that measurement. Um, your rug probably would not be that long, but 282 inches. This 282 inches. I think, yeah, we're talking about common space. So I'll tell you what, if you want to, you can use this piece of paper. Yeah. And we can get kind of, uh, yeah, from like this general area to over there, common space wise. Ooh. Ooh, look, you got it. Almost. <laughs> Very close. It's going to be about 142 inches. Okay. Awesome. So I do see someone's asking about specific bed frame dimensions. We will get to that question when we step out of the loft room into next we're going to 440G. So in 440G, we'll, we will answer that question. Which is the G style. Right? Yes, yeah. G style. We got lights. Yes. And then. Mm -hmm. right. Here we are. Very typical. This is a. This is what most of the rooms will look most, like. Most common. A pretty large common area here. Yes. You'll probably have a little bit of food in this area right here. For sure. I have seen residents fit so much stuff in this little area. It's insane. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get a view of it. Sometimes on live, it's hard to kind of feel out this space, but those measurements are also on our website. So. Um, for hanging things in maples, are monkey hooks or command strips preferred? So monkey hooks are not allowed. You can use command strips. Uh, we do suggest that you do not remove them yourselves. Um, there will be a charge for maintenance to remove them, but that charge is going to be a lot cheaper than if you do remove them and peel the paint. Yes, yeah. Awesome. Um, and let's real quick dip into a room and do that measurement that people are asking. Um, it's a very specific question. If we could maybe, I'm gonna lift this mattress real quick. They wanna know the lip here, how big this is. So if they're gonna clip on. Yeah, that one you can't really do with that because of the device itself. I would say this is, man, an inch. An inch and a half. An inch, an inch, and, a half inch and a half. Okay, yeah, that's, that's about as good as we're gonna get here because we don't have a real tape measure. We have a <laughs> electric one. <laughs> awesome. So once again, we are in 440G, G style. So this is, this is pretty typical. Um, so send any questions you have in the chat. And if you've asked something and we have not answered it, send it again because it can be hard to scroll back into the chat and see those. I don't know if you want to get a better look at some of the bathroom spaces. Uh, sure. There's um, a lot of storage areas underneath the sink. Um, there is just a lot of sink for all four people, so you will have to share your counter space very wisely. Yes. Awesome. And then let's also show the bathroom. Yes. Uh, this bathroom is going to be really similar to the one we just showed earlier. Same shower setup. Yep. Once Beautiful. again, limited space for four people, so you will have to accommodate how you're using that space within the shower. Awesome. Someone asked about the measurements of under the sink, if we could get that, maybe for some storage. There's a lip there in the balance. Yeah. Let's, well, actually that lip goes back quite a bit. It's gonna be 30 inches. 30 inches. Yes. And then desk drawer dimensions, someone asked for. 
we can step into a bedroom and get that. Yeah. Um, this also has a really nice view. Yeah, we'll show the view real yeah, quick. This stadium. one's this one's really good. You Wait, can see I'll the I'll stadium. Get that. Oh, perfect. Again, we're in 440G. So if this is your room, let us know. We might be in your room. <laughs> okay, so the dimensions of the drawer. Uh, they're going to be 20 inches by 14 inches. Awesome. And then can you get the depth of like yes. how so. tall the bottom drawer, which is the largest. It looks bigger than the other two. So this one's going to be 10 inches deep. 10 inches deep for the biggest. And then these two are going to be... Ooh. Not working. Yeah. Um, Too short. Four inches, it looks like. Yeah, I would say about four inches. Um, there's not a lot of room in these top two drawers for anything like super tall. Mm -hmm. I used it personally for like a lot of pens, stationery. Um, some flat notebooks go really well in there. Yeah. Someone asked again about the dimensions of the window. Um, we did already measure that. So you can watch this video back on our Instagram account right after it ends under reels or later next week. It will also be on our YouTube page and you can jump through and get all these dimensions if, if you would like to. Um, someone asked about measuring the space between the toilet and the shower. Yeah. In bedroom, we have some of these bathrooms are going to be different, like different sizes. This yes. This is the way where they put the bathroom. So this isn't definitive for every single type like this. Someone said the website does say they can use monkey hooks. Yeah, I think this is one of the halls where, like, it's allowed, but uh, there's potentially damage that could be caused. Okay. Uh, Crayon strips are usually a better choice, but, you know, use your own discretion. Yes, and you are allowed to move furniture around, for sure. Okay. Um, that's going to be 31 inches. Okay, awesome. Which, that does depend on your room yes. a little bit. Some of those things you just will not know until you're here. <laughs> and all these rooms are going to be somehow different in some way. Um, <laughs> I like to say no two rooms in the Maples are alike. They are somehow all different. Um, could we also get just the, the wall here, this main common space wall? So that's going to be 103 inches. So from one to the other is 103. And then let's also just get from the door. Yeah. That's going to be 72 inches. 72 inches. Um, are the rods in the wardrobe removable? Yes, but oh, um, they, they are. do like lift out of okay. the wardrobe itself. Yeah, let's look at one. And then again, this dresser is also removable. It's not built into the wardrobe. So if you do want more wardrobe space, you can remove this dresser as well. It's just very heavy. <laughs> yes. Um, Someone asked about the recommended height to loft the bed. Well, I don't know that we have a recommended height. It's really your choice. Um, a lot of people want to put their furniture underneath. And as I said earlier in the thing, I think it goes up to 70. 71, I think, is 71 what you said. 71 inches, which is yeah. really high. You can, honestly, any every three inches is how high you can do it. And it can go all the way up or all the way down. And you may notice the stabilizer bar. Yes. That's a must. You'll want to keep that stabilizer yes. bar. Mm -hmm. And if you loft your bed all the way out, that stabilizer bar will just go underneath the bed so you're not like wiggling around because these are just separate posts that you just lift the bed up and down. Mm -hmm. And again, you can check out mallets and anything you do need to help you with that when you do move in. Yeah. And for dimensions, like general dimensions of the wardrobe and chest, you can check our website for those. Mm -hmm. Also, if you do loft your bed to those highest levels and you have you know, some concerns, Am I going to roll out in the middle of the night? Which is something <laughs> worth being concerned about. Uh, we can help you out with this. Let us know housing at uark.edu. Mm -hmm. And I think we have some special like safety feature that we can put up there to help you so you wouldn't roll out of the bed, which yes. is something I'd be concerned about at that high. So. Someone's asking where to find those furniture dimensions. Yeah. Um, on housing.uark.edu under halls. And then you'll want to go to the specific hall that you're looking for. Mm-hmm. Awesome. And then there's a little tab that says dimensions, furnishings, and other details or something like that. So. Awesome. Thank you. Is the shower liner or shower curtain provided? It is. Yes. In all of them, you will have a rod and a liner. Um, I know some people, let me jump back in here real quick, that like to get something cute or fabric to also add to the hooks and plastic curtain that are provided. And you are absolutely welcome to do that. Let me show the shower one more time since I'm here. 
And in this room, what are the distances between the beds? Again, from like the edge of one to the other. So if they were gonna put, you know, some sort of furniture against the wall between. So that's gonna be 56 inches. 56 inches. Yeah. And you can see, again, the furniture is movable. The wardrobes are in a different position in this room than they were in that room. So. Yes, it's all movable. Um, someone asked, let's see. Uh, yes, there is only one sink per. So this is the one sink that all four people get to share. Um, someone asked, yes, you did miss the measurement between the toilet um, and the wall. We did get that. And so if you want to jump back and see what that was, you can do that. And this will be under Reels on Instagram or on our YouTube next week. I want to say it was around 30 inches. So. Okay, <laughs> awesome. Perfect. Um, any other questions? Let's see. So someone asked, is this the same bedroom-wise as in K? As in K? The, Wait, did we look at a K? I can't we remember. did. Yes, that's the K? loft. Yes. Yeah, and typically the bedrooms themselves are very much the same. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's much off at all. It's common spaces that are typically variable. Mm -hmm. um, where the bathroom is located and sort of the, the flow of the rooms outside of the bedroom. Um, thank you for the person that went in the chat and said between the wall and toilet was 31 inches. Oh, That's awesome. Um, and we are currently in 440G. So we are in what would what people would say typical. We are in a G for those yeah, asking that as well. Most bedroom spaces, like most every single bedroom space, unless you're living in like a triple or like a like bigger suite, are usually going to have these two beds and a window in between those two. Yes. Um, but sometimes there's a desk right there, sometimes there's not, but usually it's going to be the two beds and a window, another window, variable, but like most of the time there's going to be this window between the two beds. Yes. Awesome. And again, um, we did not see a two-person or three-person room here today. Um, you can go to the website and see those. Personal request, though. If anybody is identified as being in an I room, can you leave your room number here oh. on the chat? Because we're trying to figure out exactly uh, that association. So yes. if you do have an eye, leave your room number so we can look it up and find out something. If you're just now joining, oh, so sorry. Okay. If you're just now joining, we are in Maple South, um, currently in room 440G. Um, and we might be about to wrap it up, I think. So if you have any last minute questions, send them in the chat and I'll let you go ahead now. <laughs> no, you're all good. If you're in like a double room, um, it's literally probably going to be almost exactly the same as this just like slightly bigger room dimensions with the bathroom in it. So like same setup and everything. Yeah. But this is your whole room plus a bathroom. And we have two questions regarding curtains. One person asked, um, what is the best way to hang curtains over your windows here? Um, um, honestly, command hooks are not too bad. Yes, big command hooks, one um, on each side. Blinds. These blinds are actually pretty effective. Mm -hmm. um, you're not going to get probably woken up by the sunlight too much if you if you run them all the way. I think that's pretty dark. Um, so yeah. And another person asked from the top of the window to the floor, so that if they were to get curtains, how long would would those need to be? Let me see if I can. Just add three three inches to that. So. I don't know if that went to the. Whatever she's measuring will add a couple inches for that top yeah. part. <laughs> this is 88. 88. So I would say about 92. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. About 92, Just about. 93 inches. Somewhere in there. Awesome. Um, so what's the secret to success here at the university? <laughs> what do these incoming students need to know? Go to class. Um, they say some, if your class is optional, no, it's not. Go to class. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, that's the biggest thing I've seen my friends we get some sometimes it got me those mandatory science lectures will get you but um it's my biggest thing go to class mm. that's what you're paying for <laughs> yeah it's a good one um and then just get involved um my i found friends by just joining clubs joining things that matter to me i'm in the marching band and that's where i found literally all of my friends mostly and so again just get involved find something you like and then also it's okay to change your major I changed my night post. Yeah. Did you do pick one? I did not actually. That, okay. I, was, I was a COVID freshman, so like, yes. we didn't really have as You're much. Right. So y'all are lucky. Y'all are so lucky. <laughs> awesome. Well, any last words?
<laughs> from me. I'm just excited to have you. Yes. The Razorbacks. Yeah. Awesome. Getting so close yeah. um, to moving to campus. Oh. You go to their freshman pep rally. Look yes. up there for me. I'll be playing trombone. Yes, and the freshman pep rally is also where you get to take your big class picture on the field in an A. So I know a lot of people sometimes skip that. I, I found it to be a really cool experience. Definitely go, definitely mm -hmm. go. Yes, awesome. Well, thank you guys for joining York Home Live 2023. This was Maple Hill, um, and we're signing off. Have a great evening.